Simon, good morning, and thank you very much for your time and patience. Well, Anes is uh, ready. We understand that now the government is ramping up measures after the World Health Organization has declared a, national, a global uh, health emergency due to the ongoing outbreak of the coronavirus. Well, um, good morning and, uh, to the viewers at home. Well, we, 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 the, the science of nursing itself has uh, um, in itself the training programs include measures of dealing with uh, diseases of such nature. I do know that it's a, it's a very difficult scenario, including what is happening in, in, in China. The resilience of Chinese health system was good. However, as and when such diseases, uh, uh, such outbreaks happens, you will never know what happens. But what, what we can assure the country and everyone is that nurses, all that are trained, are capable and they can deal with this disease anywhere that it can. I think the challenge that we may have as a country, and this happens with any outbreak, including the issues of Ebola in other countries, is uh, the early detection and the traceability of contact or contacts. Um, that, that's, that's what can spread the disease. But containing it, that is our job. We'll definitely be able to do it uh, from port health to, to, to the taking care of patients in the hospital. And I can tell you that in 1996, we had one outbreak uh, that was, uh, we had one incident of Ebola um, and, and it was contained and it never spread. Uh, it was contained in Charlotte Macleke. That's where it ended. Unfortunately, we lost one, one, one person or one nurse. Um, we never lost another person and it was never transferred to another patient in South Africa. Yeah, will there be any specific things that nurses currently might have to to uh, improve or no, upskill in case of the coronavirus uh, or any new protocol that they need to follow? Well, I think the World Health Organization has given um, um, clear guidelines of what to expect, particularly on the symptoms. That's why I was saying on early detection. Um, what we must we must see on upon seeing a patient, but the the most common being that um, anyone who becomes uh, who has a high temperature, um, then it should give somebody a worry. When I said uh, uh, tracing the contacts, it means we must be able to check where that in terms of the history where is the person coming from who has that person been in contact with so normally uh, outbreaks of this nature they spread uh, because you find that a person that might have that disease would have been in contact with other people within the community and that's how it can spread uh, uh, virally and it, it becomes very dangerous however in terms of the nursing care the science itself it's prepared because the the basics that we we have to do is that if there's a confirmed disease the confirmed uh, uh, incident in our country that person must be put on what we call barrier nursing so it's a protocol of some sort and we all know and we know how to do it particularly professional nurses because they are trained in the program to do so the most important thing is the early detection of anything that might happen and we immediately zoom into the, the centers that have been, developed, uh, have been put in place to deal with this emergency. It's an outcry. We can pray that we don't have a disease, but in case if it happens, uh, although we may not know what can happen in terms of spiraling, but containing it, we're capable of doing that. Yeah, currently we are all relieved that there is no confirmed uh, case of coronavirus uh, in, in South Africa. And just to be clear, uh, Simon, there is no need for any specific or specialized training that nurses need to undergo in order to deal with such a virus in case of an outbreak? In case of an outbreak, the training is encapsulated, is, is inculcated in the training of a degree or a di diploma when a professional nurse is trained. So it's, in, it's, it's there in the standards of training of nurses. So we, 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 we get out as professional nurses already we are ready for being able to take care of that. Um, like I'm giving an example of the Ebola virus where a nurse was admitted in Charlotte Macleod in 1996. Nurses that were there didn't need to be trained additional for anything. The knowledge that they gained during the training program was able to help them to be able to do uh, the science that I'm talking about, which is barrier nursing. Uh, we put this person in an isolated room, take care. We do a strict, strict barrier nursing that requires that you put certain mask when you all you go in there there's a science that says well, how do you wash how do you end how do you get out how do you use the gloves and the and the clothes that you'll be wearing on that we are capable we have proven that in the past we we're able to contain um, even the Ebola it never spread so we're, we're, we're confident that the training that we have that's why it's sought after by the whole world that we're capable as South African nurses if there was any appeal from your side as Dinosa at this stage
stage, having heard the new ramped up measures announced by Dr. William Kize, the National Health Minister, earlier this morning. What would that be? Well, our appeal is that while these emergency um, um, uh, uh, measures have been put in place, particularly in those institutions that have been identified, um, we do and want to appeal that uh, in case we have such a disease, what's most important again is that uh, availability of apparatus that we will be able to use. So uh, I'm saying that uh, we know and we're guaranteed that the department will ensure that everything is available that we will need as an apparatus to utilize in order to take care of those people. But we are worried about the traceability, therefore we are saying information at Port Health it's important so as nurses that are working there, including other staffs, staff members that are there, we must make sure that we keep accurate recording so that we can be able to trace in case of anyone coming into the, the, the country. But what will, come, will become very important is that we must do a lot of health education, particularly in communities. In case we have, a, we have an outbreak or any incident occurring in our country, it will be important that we educate communities on what they should be doing, but also availability of masks that will be able to, pre to protect the, the community at large. So that, that's why I'm saying our worry more is on the spiraling of it if in case it happens. We will require a lot of health education and we think the, the minister currently is doing well in terms of educating all of us. But we will need a lot of work at a basic community level to understand what is this virus and how can we prevent it because we have practices where we can shake hands, we are used to laughing with each other, but in case it happens, some of those practices will have to come to a stop and we, we just make sure that we prevent any spread at all cost. Thank you very much. Simon Shungwani, speaking on behalf of the Nursing Association, Dean Nossa.